What is going on guys? Mike with Chit Chat Gaming and I hope everybody had a happy new year. It is officially 2021. The crappy year that was 2020 is now behind us. So now the best thing to do is to move forward into a brand new year guys and I'm excited for that. Like I mentioned, lots of things coming up on my YouTube channel so make sure you guys stick around. Today what I want to talk about though is January of 2017. It's, I can't believe it's January already. I can't believe it's been four years already as well too. But January 12th of 2017, we saw the first Nintendo Switch presentation. Now during this presentation, you know they showed the, the price of the Switch. They, you know, introduced the uh, the Joy-Con. They introduced the uh, the release date of the Switch, which we're all taken back by. You know, so many trailers as well too. Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2. Uh, the Breath of the Wild trailer with the release date on launch and everything, and I still watch that Nintendo Switch presentation. I actually watched it a couple days ago here. I usually watch reactions like of Easy Allies, uh, you know, kind of funny, and there's everybody in the Nintendo store in New York. But I also watched the presentation itself too because I was so hyped for that night, and I had so much fun watching that with my kids. We were just so ecstatic, so excited. And of course, with the Switch being released six weeks from that date of January 12th on March 3rd, I was just so excited to get it in my hands and could not wait. I remember pre-ordering it that night on Best Buy. And yes, I still have the original Joy-Con here. So these are the original neon, uh, neon red, neon blue Joy-Con. I have not changed them. I am looking to get new Joy-Con this weekend. Hopefully if the snow goes away and allows me to be able to go somewhere. But yeah, it's been the first time in almost four years I've gotten new Joy-Con. So they, they're getting a little bit, you know, a little bit wobbly and stuff. And they're starting to, this one here kind of just like comes off on its own once in a while. So definitely ready for some new ones. But again, though, I want to talk about today, though, is with the anniversary, the four-year anniversary, four anniversary of the Nintendo Switch uh, presentation coming up here soon, I want to talk about my three first Nintendo Switch launch games. Now, there wasn't a ton of launch games, you know, on March 3rd. But there definitely was quite a few of them as far as like um, digital and then some, of course some uh, actual physical ones. So what I want to do today is kind of talk about my three launch titles. And of course I want to know what your guys' is as well too after this. So I want to talk about those today. And the first one I got here is one that probably everybody got. So it was on everybody's list of course. And that was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild here. I could not wait to play this thing. All the trailers and everything. The trailer we saw, the Nintendo Switch presentation. When it ended with you know, Link open your eyes and boom, we saw the March 3rd release date. I was so excited to get this in my hands and I saw uh, Jimmy Fallon, you know, Reggie was on there as well too, showing off some gameplay prior to the Nintendo Switch launch. And I was just like, man, I, I definitely have to have this. So one of my favorite Nintendo Switch games, one of my favorite Zelda's of all time, the open world, the exploration, the adventure. There's so much you can do in this game. So many areas you can get lost and you can pretty much go anywhere in this game here. It was just a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I put a ton of hours into it as well, too. I cannot wait to play the sequel that hopefully is going to be coming out this year, maybe, holiday. We'll see. But, they, you know, they teased it last year. And um, I'm definitely ready for, or two years ago, whatever it was, 19. I'm definitely ready for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 here to come out so I can go ahead and get my hands on it. So, again, though, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild I had to get on launch date as well as the amiibo. I waited in line to get the amiibo. You can't really see them behind me because there's Christmas trees in the way, but I got the amiibo as well too on launch. So I had to have those to go along with the game. Now the next one here is a game that I didn't play for a long time, and that is Super Bomberman R. Now this one here though, this was a timed exclusive. I was so excited when I saw that it was gonna be a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Of course now it's out for Xbox and so forth. Um, I was really, really excited though to play this game because I've not played a Bomberman game since, oh my gosh, probably the GameCube. So ever since then though, I have not touched a Bomberman game. And I saw this and I was just like, holy crap, and this is like nostalgic that we're getting a Bomberman game at launch on Nintendo Switch and I had to have it. And this is actually becoming very, very rare to find uh, the physical version of the game itself. It's hard to get now. For a while there it was on sale and stuff and everything, but again though, a lot of fun. The, uh, the multiplayer has died down some. I, I did try to get into a game a couple nights ago. I did find a game um, against one other person, but it is kind of getting a little bit slim pickings on the uh, on the multiplayer. But the single player campaign mode, story mode, is a lot of fun, where it's you versus the AI. But again, though, this game is just great, fantastic. I love Barman games, and I had to have this at launch as well, too. Now, another game that I had here, it's not going to be a physical game. I did pick up another game at launch here, but I don't want to talk about it. It's a 1-2 Switch. 
Um, it wasn't my first game. I did pick it up later on, I think like a day or two after the Switch launch. But these two here, these two games though, I did pick up on launch night, as well as another game here, which was on, because we went at midnight to get the console, but the next day, of course, was officially launch day. So I did pick up a digital title, which I'll show here, and it is Snipper Clips. Now, Snipper Clips was a great game. Lots of fun. It's a game where it's a lot more fun with two players. You can play single player as well, too, but it's a lot more fun when you can actually... It's the first game I had where you could just you know, take off the Joy-Con and hand it to another player, and you could play you know sideways like this here. I had a lot of fun playing with, with someone at work. I played with my family and such as well, too. But basically, you just take turns, you know, clipping each other, snipping each other to form shapes that you have to complete in order to get to the next stage. Now, it does definitely get a little bit tricky. It does get a little bit more difficult with the uh, the puzzles and stuff and how you kind of have to figure out, you know, where you have to snip your, uh, your player at and such. But a lot of fun. Again, more fun to play with another player. You can do it by yourself, but it was a great title, a great little game that, you know, showed off exactly what Nintendo is what Nintendo Switch is going to be where you could hand off that Joy-Con to another player and play it sideways. It was just a typical Nintendo style game that I could not wait to get my hands on as well too. So those are my three launch titles. As I mentioned, Zelda Breath of the Wild, we have Super Mario Man R, and then of course Snipper Clips were my three launch titles. So let me know down below here in the comment section what was your three launch titles. If you had three, if you only had one or two, that's fine. But let me know what your launch games were down in the comment section below here because I'm definitely curious to see who all picked up what on March 3rd on launch day of Nintendo Switch. So guys, again, lots of great things coming this new year. I want to wish you guys once again a happy new year here. Let's make 2021 great. We hope we get some great games here in 2021 as well. So make sure you guys like the video here. Make sure you comment down below like I mentioned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on that bell notification to keep updated with all things that is Chit Chat Gaming. And once again guys, this has been Mike saying happy gaming and happy new year.